Blair House, a direct and powerful portal to the underworld. The grim history of this home has manifested itself to become one of the most terrifying locations on the planet. Surrounded by battlefields full of bloodshed, Indian burial grounds, ley lines, and directly on top of mine shafts that took the lives of nearly 200 men. No one has ever been able to close any portal within the home. No one has ever succeeded in even cleansing it, although many have tried. Tonight marks our return to a location that created our obsession for paranormal investigations and to continue seeking answers from a place that has a direct path to hell. Blair House. I have God on my side. Everything's gonna be okay. It is very, very, very bad in the basement. It's energy that you really don't want to mess with. <sighs> Are you gonna still go down there? Oh yeah. Well, then if something happens, then we have to go down and get you guys out. We're here to find out if there is anything in the basement. It's an it's an it's an a blood oh. servant? You know something's down here, but what are you? Are we speaking to someone demonic, dark, or evil? What was that? What was that? Whoa. What's up everyone and welcome back or welcome to the Overnight Channel. This location, the Bull Air House. Yep. I know Trans Allegheny was last night, mm -hmm. but the experience we had here was amazing. It was one of the more intimate group scenarios we've ever had. Full blown, 90 minutes straight of direct responses yeah. with the paranormal, with the spirits here, yep. in a really joyful way, which is strange given the darkness that allegedly surrounds and is built into this house. We spent so much time upstairs with that spirit that we never really spent enough time in the basement, near the tunnels. Just tunnels? Oh yeah. We didn't spend nearly enough time in the attic. Yeah. This is where we heard our first growl yep. from Corbin. Yep. He didn't even remember doing this. And this was followed after Kristen, who owns the house, left. Yeah. Because she heard three growls. Yeah. She heard three growls? So she left, and then we're upstairs. Corbin's talking to us, and in the middle of talking to us, he growls. Like, yeah, that one was uh, the story of the day. It, uh, but it was, it, was, it was like a demonic growl. And like, we, it, 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 it we was, stopped everything and played it back over and over and over again, and it came from him, but it wasn't him. Yeah, he doesn't remember it. He's like, I didn't do that. He's like, what are you talking about? And we're like, dog. Just grab. Yeah. Yeah. And we are sleeping here tonight. We're in the house tonight. Last time we actually slept here, but no one slept. Yeah. We were up all the way until our flight the next morning. Yep. Yeah. That's going to happen again. So Kristen is joining us again tonight. And I think she's leading us through a seance, but a different kind. You know, they should walk in first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. You know what's funny? Last time we were here, me and Brandon knew everything about the house, and you guys mm -hmm. didn't. We kept it a secret. Yeah. Let's. Let's, Let's keep it secret. secret. Okay. The Blair House, infamous throughout the world due to its portals, passageways throughout the spirit world and living without any barrier to those types of entities that utilize them, whether lightened spirits or malevolent. Yet it seems the malevolent ones are most prevalent within this home. Bad luck seems to follow those that enter the home or especially those that live within it details of a traumatic story by the owner Kristen will be shared with us later. When I found her, she was pleading to God to save her life. The reputation of the Blair House and its incredible paranormal activity dates back to the early 20th century. Built in 1904 by Jacob Hetherington, this plot of land then held a five-bedroom, one-and-a-half bath home. Yet where this plot of land exists and what the house sits atop of is a massive contributor. The paranormal activity that has consumed every square foot of the property. Strategically, it was built near the Ohio River for ease of trade and transportation, yet the water serves as a conduit of spirit energy, and additionally, there are known ley lines, which are very old pathways connected to once important places and thought to still hold special powers. 
One particular ley line aligns with many ancient sites on Earth and is believed to be a path of significant energy that exists on this planet, making it the perfect place to draw in spirits as they can feed off of the ever-flowing energy source. These ley lines are also believed to be the reason why Native Americans chose this plot of land for their ceremonies. The home is located in a section of dark history where French and Indian wars took place between 1754 and 1763, resulting in an enormous amount of bloodshed. The Native Americans were massacred, and in the town of Belair, their blood is said to have seeped all throughout, even staining their streets and soil to this day. This soil carries that energy of death and blood, not just beneath the home, but of the entire town. The significance of the precise location of this home is even more dire. Jacob decided to construct the home directly next to the Shawnee Native American burial caves, where their leaders, chieftains, shamans, healers, and witch doctors were all buried. The caves are located behind the home and the river in front of it, creating an energetic pull directly through the center of the home making the portal an easy point of access beyond the earthly dimensions. Strangely, the home was built directly on top of coal mine number one of Belair, and in March of 1893, an explosion occurred that eventually led to the near abandonment of the town. Locals began to whisper that the house and family were haunted and cursed. In 1940, another explosion happened, but in coal mine number two, just 20 minutes away from the home. It trapped 180 men inside and killed at least 50 of them. With the mine systems connected, it is believed this only contributed to the haunting of the home. Death has surrounded the home from all sides and even beneath it, but the home itself did not escape the taking of lives. When Jacob Hetherington died, he left the house to his son Alex and daughter Lyde. Soon after, Alex began to have psychotic breakdowns, claiming, The demons are trying to kill me. He fell into madness and was eventually locked up in an asylum. Lyde then took over the business of the coal company. However, she died in the dining room of the Blair house. Lyde is a brother named Edwin, who was very fond of his sister, and due to his grief, decided to open the home to mediums and specialists so he may contact his deceased sister. Through his obsession with the afterlife and endless amount of psychics and mediums coming to the home, with the majority of them being scam artists trying to manipulate Edwin and take as much money as possible. Edwin began to try and open portals on his own without any proper training. It is unclear what he did during his desperation, but stories claim there may now be as many as 11 active portals within the home. During this time, there is a story of a servant named Mary who is said to have had a baby in the house, only to have found out later the child had died within the home. Local gossip states the child was lured to the attic and then pushed out of the window. There have been numerous attempts at cleansing the house. A key example was Joe Estes and Associates. However, despite the attempts of Catholic rituals and spiritual cleansings, it remains highly active. No one has been able to close a single portal. Each attempt to lock them away seems to only broaden them. In 2004, Kristen Lee took ownership of the home without a strong belief in the paranormal. Yet through time in the home, that drastically changed. Strange voices, objects moving freely, apparitions, footsteps, and increasing acts of violence from the spirits began. After a severe incident with herself and her dog, Kristen then contacted the Ohio Valley Paranormal Research Team and investigations began. Clear communication through EVPs, Spirit boxes and K2 meters are common, with shadow figures, physical touch such as being pushed and scratches, apparitions of adults and children, and intelligent use of paranormal equipment are extremely common, if not expected here. Our last visit to the Blair House was a night we will never forget for the rest of our lives. And tonight came another. Before we go any further in the video, if you want to help with global reforestation and preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland in a fun and unique way, then I have to tell you about established titles. Their title packs are based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lords and ladies. And with each title pack, you get at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate 
in Scotland. This means you can now officially change your name on plane tickets or credit cards to say Lord or Lady and if you even want to, throw it on your dating profile. And the best part is established titles plants a tree with every single order and works with global charity. One tree planted and trees for the future. And this also makes a great last minute gift which is why I'm telling you right now for all of you procrastinators. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link, your plot will essentially be right next to mine within walking distance. Which means if enough of us do this, we can create like our own overnight kingdom in Scotland. If you want an additional 10% off, use code OvernightEstablishedTitles.com slash overnight for essentially a very early Black Friday sale. Legitimately, if we all do this, we'll have a super big plot and I'm actually going to go visit the specific plot in just a few weeks. So let's do this, get your gifts. It's honestly really fun to see people's reactions when you get it. Everyone, I, I did this last year for so many people and they enjoyed it. So pick one up, support the channel, and of course, enjoy the video. Should Matt be the first one in? Yes. Well, you remember what happened last time, right? Yeah. Matt, sorry, I was giving you a room. Matt, do you remember what happened, Matt, remember what happened last time? The first one in? You don't know. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> yeah. you, you have to be the first to walk on, you in. Why? Okay. 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 <laughs> this is no sarcasm. <laughs> when you're in this first room, never close your eyes. Don't. Like, don't even. Don't even. Seriously, don't. Blink. Don't close your eyes. <laughs> You can, what? Don't. You could blink, but like try not to close your eyes. Why? It's. You'll find out. You'll Dude, find out. you guys are not good travel agents. All right, y'all go in to get away from that yeah. joke. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Come on. Christ. Come on. Just remember, oh don't God! Don't please. close your eyes. Don't close your Why? eyes. Why? Just don't. Just don't. We'll tell no, you. And whatever you do, in. don't look at what's in the corner of the room. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> about that. Don't, don't, don't look at that corner. <laughs> Just don't, don't look at that corner. That's why you're not supposed to code. Whatever, I have God on my side. Everything's gonna be okay. That's oh, right. do you need the code? Wait, you need the code though. Don't look at that corner and don't close your eyes. What corner? Just make don't make Evan, eye Evan, contact. Make sure he doesn't close his eyes. Don't. Seriously, don't make I eye have contact. to blink already. <laughs> I already have to I'll blink. Take box. Hold your eyes open. Why? Just hold them open. I'm in here. <laughs> don't <laughs> <You're gone. laughs> blink until you get out of this room. Why? Just don't. I can't hold my eyes open forever. Just don't. Corey, don't blink. I'm not. You gotta get out through this room first. I'm not gonna blink. But I can go back outside and blink. No, 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 but go, no, just, no, no. just go in the no. other room, but don't blink in here, dog. Why? Just trust. It's just some stuff happened last time, and then she warned us whenever we got here about what could have possibly been happening. Yeah, just so. so. Okay. Ooh. That's fine. Just whatever you do. If you blink, just find the nearest bottle of holy water. Just don't blink in that room. Right. And if you do, just find the hallway. What about like that hallway? That's fine, there. it's just this room. This, this is, doesn't make any sense. Yeah. This is the seance room. Nice. Ellison, he's sitting on the couch. Oh my oh god! My you are gonna <laughs> sit down! <laughs> he sat on it! He, he sat on it. it! Matt, you didn't watch the oh, video? No! No! He didn't Dog. watch the video. Dog. <laughs> You're not supposed to sit on that one. What does that mean? It's the biggest, most obvious one! <laughs> I'm here to carry equipment, and that's <laughs> it. Wait, I don't want Matt, it. Matt, look at Corey. Look at Corey. Corey, duck really quick. Duck. He looked at the doll. You did Matt just look Did you look at it? Look, look what he looked at. I didn't. I didn't see a doll. Come here. I saw a chair. Come here. You or, you have to give it money. What money? You Anything. looked at it. I don't have any money. No, because here's what's going to happen. If I give it a dollar, you guys are going to go, he gave it a dollar. He gave it a dollar. <laughs> no. You guys, absolutely not. No, no. I'm gonna keep praying to my Lord and Savior Jesus Tell Christ, who's gonna protect me. And I'm not yeah, any demons. Okay. No demons. It's, it's the closest to the stairs that you can run out and down. I can't see. Ooh, it's warm right here. Is there air on? Event? Yeah, cool. this is Matt's room. Right. Yeah, totally, totally, totally. That room is filled with haunted dolls. That room has a haunted scrying mirror, and that room is the closest to where <laughs> the entity is. You know why I don't want to trust this room? Because there's two closet doors. It makes me feel like one of them goes to an attic. Fuck. Yeah, I <laughs> knew it. I, I know architecture. Matt Wright knows architecture. Let's the thing is, you know how also you would have known that? Huh. You watched the video. I didn't watch it. I saw the trailer you posted of this, because this looks familiar. Two, two. Is this up, up? 
I definitely have not seen the full episode, but this looks familiar. Oh, man. This is actually really cool. Very creepy, but very cool. I mean, I think this is my first rodeo, Elton. Yeah, you think it's my first rodeo? <laughs> if there's a door, Elton's in it. <laughs> Why are all the notebooks gone? They're all gone, Corey. Really? Yeah, there used to be one up here, there was one in the bedroom. There's only a single page. This room didn't have much activity, but we put a REM pod on the stairs to the attic. I must just say, after trying our best to debunk any activity, we had changed batteries, reset the REM pod, and it was still very, very active. It got to the point we removed the REM pod, shut and locked the attic door, and also the bedroom door. This was by far the most active room I have ever been in, and our group has done a lot of investigations. We placed the REM pod and put it on the landing going downstairs just to make sure it had no defects at the new location. We had no further activity the rest of the night. We cringed when morning came and we had to go retrieve our camera from the attic. Very active. Should we Wire. check the bedroom with the mirror? There's a lot of like balls and stuff. In here. The fact that all the notebooks are gone is more concerning to me than if they were here. You know what I mean? Like, why would you not want people to know the other stories? And the, and the <laughs> Harry Potter, dude. <laughs> you want to? If I sleep in there, will I get a ticket to Hogwarts? No. Oh, never mind. But you will get a ticket to Disney Cruise Lines, brand new Bahamas third day stay. Who turned off all the lights? You did. No. You didn't just turn off the lights right now. Were you with me the entire time? No. No. Nope. There's a couple steps behind you. Evan? Yeah, he's near me watching me hit my head on the door. I actually didn't turn off the lights. You swear? Yeah, seriously, I didn't turn off the lights. We'll turn it back on. I literally don't know where the light switch is. Bahamas third day stay? No freaking way! You'll get visited by Goofy, Mickey, Donald, and Goofy's son, Myox. I wake to seeing a man standing over my bed coming towards me with a pillow. Roommate heard footsteps, so did I, one, two nights in a row. Gosh, Donald! They Never mind, I, I, I shut it. Fair enough. Was held down on sofa and couldn't move. Also struggled to breathe. Felt like someone was sitting on my chest, smothering me. Jeez. Probably the person that blinked in the room downstairs. Good thing I didn't. Oh, you found it. Yeah, this one's pretty cool. So, I mean, last time we were here, we kind of just jumped right into things with you. And, you know, we learned about the house doing our own research and things like that. But there's no better person to tell us about the house than you. This is your house, and you've owned it for... How long? 2004. What? Oh, wow. Right? Yeah, 2004. 18 years. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Because like, I mean, honestly, like when we came here the first time, we were kind of brand new to paranormal. Like we really didn't know much. Or understand really? Much. Yeah, yeah. We were like very, very inexperienced at that. I mean, in comparison to now. Yeah. I mean, that was probably like our 10th investigation, 12th location, something like that. And now we've done yeah. over 100. Holy cow. I yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, is there a portion of this house that you think is the worst part? It depends. Right oh. now, we know that it's the attic. Sometimes it's the basement. I, of course, I haven't been in the basement. We can get into that later, but right now we know it's the attic 100%. Have you ever felt in danger in this house? Oh yeah, absolutely. What? Several times, yeah. Like physical danger? Absolutely, yes, yes, 100%, yes. Well, has anybody been hurt here? Oh yeah, absolutely. What kind of stuff? With paranormal investigators, they've been pushed, they've been scratched. Um, there was a man that was standing on an apple box, which is mm. movie stuff, you yeah. know that. But he was, I think he was putting those lights in, and it, the box, you just, you saw him on the static cams, it just swept, it just went out from under him. And he denied it, and he denied it, and I'm like, dude, that happened. There were ladies, two different ladies, two different teams, nobody knew that sent me pictures of the insides of their thighs that were bruised, extremely bruised, that some sort of spirit was, you know, um, putting so much pressure that it left them black and blue between their legs. Oh my God. Um, there's been women and men that have reported being pinned down to the bed and um, sexually assaulted. 
people try to sage themselves here and that's fine um, but sage in this house again it's like shooting an elephant in ass with the BB gun it's not effective at all is it effective in my home and probably your homes yes but not here if you do decide to venture into the basement first of all I'm not going with you I'm not ready to do that yet um, but it is very 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 bad in the basement like I don't even open the door and it's like a gust of wind that comes in but it's not it's energy that you really don't want to mess with. I know these guys are going to want to do some kind of seance mm -hmm. summoning thing. If I don't want to be a part of that, am I still going to be safe in the room? No, you have to go home then. Really? No, I'm kidding. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't say that because I will. <laughs> Cleansing yourselves before you leave is it's a really big deal. I like your hat. I just thought that you had that on. <laughs> Smart. That's Thank cool. You. Thank yeah. you. Cause I, I step outside. Yeah, are you getting dizzy? It's it's been like ten minutes. I just the I can't really see. Okay. It just looks like the whole room is going like. You're this. getting vertigo. Go ahead and get out. Yeah, because you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be yeah. back, guys. Do you want some salt? Uh, sure. I'll be honest, I'll get it for you. Hold on. Can I go outside and then? Yeah. You have, yeah. Let's go over the stairs. This is not what I expected oh, from this house. It's, it's weird. It's almost as if there's like two hours worth of videos you could have watched from the people that you're with on this trip. I thought it was just a haunted house. It is a haunted house. But it's more than just a ghost. She's saying there's demons here, there's other entities. Yeah, have, you, have we gone to a single... Haunted just means there's a ghost. Have there. we gone to a single place this entire trip or ever at all where there's only been one ghost? Uh, like maybe like two or three. Mm -hmm. Dude, this has been happening almost everywhere we've been going this whole trip. I mean, but what she said, have you ever used the salt? How many of these have we done in a row? This is like the sixth one now in a row. Oh, you yeah. should do it right now. I just feel like I'm gonna throw up and have the gnarliest headache and like it I definitely had really bad vertigo in there. Dude, I might step outside if you guys are gonna do a seance. Like I know that's something really cool that could create content and everything, but I just I don't wanna be a part of anything that leaves me open to that stuff. You've already done numerous seances. Yeah, but not to the extent you guys are about to do it. Oh, so the one seance that we're going to do where we actually have someone who knows what they're doing and can protect us, that's the one you don't want to do? I mean, we as haven't opposed, done it like that As opposed crazy. to the one at Whaley House where it was just us, or even the one last night Yeah, but that was just, just talking. We weren't, like, summoning evil things. We're not talking? summoning evil things. What, what it you, sounds like? As, you're a horrible listener. It's literally just... <laughs> what is, what, all right, so who are you going to summon? Who? It's not up to me. It's up to her. And she's the one who said she's calling in angels to protect her and protect us. It's it's kind of been happening our entire trip since we started. It's been it, it's never been this bad for me. And well, let me give you this. Kind first. of feel nauseous and then super bad headache. I'm going to touch you. Okay. okay. Yeah. Maybe the fog on the side. Maybe the back room. Should get across right here. Okay? That too. That's a good idea. Or an okay. onk. Okay. Or both. Okay. Let me see your wrists. Okay, put some of this on your hands. I like your fingernails. Thank you. You're always so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to understand your logic and like why you would come here and then sit out of this when you literally don't even know what's going to happen. I don't want to risk it. Okay. I thought that was Corey. No, but I'm gonna go check in on him. See what he's doing. We're gonna sit here in the demon house. <laughs> Joe, do you wanna get out of here? <laughs> Is it possible that us going down there, something can attach to us that's still there? Well, yes, but. but it, it, it will... Cause you weren't involved in the actual the no way. but i was there i mean okay. she was there when it like they were calling this in yeah okay and i was unaware of what he was doing because i'm not educated in the left hand pra practice yeah. i'm not a satanist you know what i mean I, I didn't know and and then i called him one day i broke down on the front porch of my house and my husband says just call the guy and i said why why do i feel like this what the f 
is going on with me? He's like, well, you didn't stand up against it in your own home. I told, but I said, I told you not to do it. He said, it doesn't matter. He said, you allowed it to happen in your house. Now you're victim. Hmm. And I said, you knew that was going to happen to me and you still did it. You know what I mean? It's like, that's totally not cool. Yeah. But you know, I forgive him. And I don't think that he fully knew what was going to happen. And then he said, I was only able to do it for 15 to 20 minutes. So it wasn't the full effect. Imagine if it was the full effect, Oh my gosh. you know, it was awful. You know, it was, it was truly awful. Um, I, I don't wish that on anybody. I, I mean, honest to goodness, I'm sitting legit at the end of my bed with pills in my hand. I'm just like, I've done everything I wanted to do. I've been everywhere I wanted to be. The kids are raised. They're all doing good. Nobody needs me anymore. Yeah. Nobody needs me. And I mean, this is a house of God. No, no joke. It is. Okay. You know, I was the high priestess of a coven for 12 years. And when I had that attachment in the basement and I sat there and I tried to kill myself legit and all of a sudden Bishop calls me on the phone and I hadn't talked to him in months and he calls me, say girl, what's going on? No. Way. I'm like, Bishop, I'm sitting here with pills in my hand. He's like, Kristen Lee, what's the end game? What is the end game? I said, they want my soul. And he's hung up and then we, you know, we start talking to each other face to face for about two hours. Is that what happened in the basement? Mm -hmm. Like recently or? In May. That's a lot more that happened. I, I didn't. Oh, Did you know about that awful. right before? No. It's absolutely awful what happened. I'm sorry. I, I didn't Thank know that. You. Yeah. yeah. But it, you know, I'm coming back from it. I'm coming out of it. Oh. But um, it, it shifted my whole faith-based system. And the witch community was like, you're giving away your personal power. And I'm... Until you walk in my shoes, don't judge me, like anybody, right? But in, in certain cases, you have to cling to God. You have to cling to Jesus Christ in order to get through something that is that demonic. I'm talking biblical. He didn't call on demons that you see on shows or demons that, you know, you see in horror movies. He called on legit demons. And when St. Michael finally came through, and I'm like, oh, thank you. St. Michael's here. That's my guy. That's I stand with St. Michael. He looked at me and he said, he can't be here. And I'm like, what the f***? Why? Why can't he be here? And he said, because I call in his enemies, his brothers. Do you want a spiritual bloodbath right now? trans we had an amazing, fun, positive experience. And that's what I came into this place with. So, I'm not... I'm not worried, you know, I'm not yeah. feeding into the negativity. It might be the, might be the Jesus hat. It could have been. It's, it's pretty actually, blingy. Yeah, I will. You know, remember, do you remember I've had headaches every day this whole trip? Yeah. I remember I, I said to Evan, like, when we were driving, it was like, there was a part of me that wanted to be like, hey, I feel like maybe you shouldn't wear that hat yeah. just because of that reason, but also at the same time, you can wear whatever you want. So I'll I never give you said a hat anything. to wear. Yeah? Yeah. I'll you know where you didn't have any headaches? Where? Last night. And guess what hat you didn't wear? And I wore your hat. You wore my hat instead. Corey. You gonna wear the Jesus hat? <laughs> well, now Evan's gonna get attacked. Yeah, he's okay. Our camera is just gonna... It's, it's his first <laughs> attack, so... Hope Every, the whole video is out of focus. Wow. Okay. No, okay. Was, I'm sorry, but who wants to leave? Mad did. What's that? Not me. I mean, are we calling out to demons no. or are we just calling oh, out? No. Okay. No, honey, we don't do that here. Okay. No, I'm not that way. What'd you do out there? Did a little wardrobe change. Yeah. Switched hats and then. Oh, yeah. She also gave me some stuff and. Why the switch of hats? Because we have a theory that the reason why I've been getting vertigo and headaches in almost every single place we've been going is because I'm wearing a I Love Jesus hat. So they're automatically coming Just after me. Make sure my cross is tucked. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. So I'll go get the portal. Let me wash my hands real quick. Sure. Okay, yeah, take your time. Do you want to light some candles and Absolutely. make it spooky? Do we want to use the human head again? Um, it's, it's a real human head. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Whose? I don't know. An X? No. <laughs> <laughs> I call upon Archangel Michael to surround us, protect us, fight with us if we have to fight, rebuke any kind of negativity that tries to seep into this circle. I 
call upon Raphael, Ural, Gabriel, please give clear communication to us from spirits and vice versa from us to spirits. Yeah, Maya, please stand with me and stand with everyone here at this table. And thank you for coming in. So we are here tonight to communicate with Edwin. We left a table, or with Edwin, we left a chair open for you. And Lai, Eliza, Alex, and Jacob. Edwin, if you're here, can you please give us a sign? Yes, they're in the house. We're in the house. We, we come in peace. We come to communicate. Can you tell us what town we're in? Does anyone in this home remember us from two years ago? If there's any spirits in this home that remember any of us, it's not our first time here. Could you maybe say one of our names? Is there anyone here that needs help? Help. Who needs help? What is your name? My name is. One more time, please. Samson. 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 My name is Samson. Uh -huh. Samson, are you a slave? A servant. A servant. Thank you. I'm sorry that I called you a slave. No respect. No disrespect at all. No disrespect. I understand. Would you like to leave the Belair house tonight? And be free? I would. Okay. All right, Samson. You got to work with all of us then, and you have to trust us, okay? Samson, the year is 2022. Confirm that you know this. This. It literally says this. Thank you. Said kill him. Mm -hmm. uh, Samson, please tell me where you are. Uh, yeah. Samson, do you still want to leave? Save. Save. Uh, Sound like I said save and help. Yeah. Samson, uh, please tell us where you are. You have to tell us where you are if you want us to help you. Yeah. Your room. Your room. My room. Sound like a complete sentence. So you are in the altar room. Yes. Something. Can you hear me? Yeah. Just listen is what it right. The attic is dark. Yes, it is. The attic is very dark right now. Do you have friends that need to leave the attic? I said run. That was a run. You're narrowly. You're narrowly. Oh, it was. It did say that. Please walk out. I don't think this is my house. That's pretty. How is that possible? It's a great singer. Will you sing again? Sing for us again. It was beautiful. Would you mind singing for us one more time? Wow, you have a very pretty voice. Yeah. Yeah. You're a really good singer. 
Why do I kind of not trust this? Oh, yeah, sure. Like it's almost is, is it, is the incubus is the woman. Like a siren. Like yes. A mermaid? That's. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Oh, we're gonna let him in. How do we break this? <laughs> no, I'm let him in. Oh, oh my god. He's gonna go. Elena, we have feet, we have feet open for us. Huh? Ask him to sit down. With okay. Us. Hi. Hi. Come on in. <laughs> hey, you were here before. Yes. So How are you? Good. How are you doing? Do you want to join us? <laughs> Just for a minute? There's an open chair. Close the door because the bat will fly in. You're now trapped. lock it. We're doing a seance. Why don't you join us for a minute? All right. Really? 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 Awesome. Really? Awesome. Really? Cool. All right, if we, we get better activity, I'll give you a better Why tip, not? okay? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Here, I'll take the pizza and stand the other one. I'll take the pizza and stand the other one. I'll take the pizza and stand the other one. Okay. Well, I got you now. Yeah. Yeah, you're in. Just sit right there. All right. What's your first name? Shane. All right, Shane. Shane. What's up, Shane? What's going on? It's good to meet you guys. It's good to meet you guys. I'll sit by the his bag. Have you heard about this house before? Yeah, I've heard about it. Have you been in here? I'm just delivering. First thing first, oh, we got the knife lined up. <laughs> Imagine in his position how terrifying. <laughs> he should be, he should be. All right, here we go. Let's hold hands. All right. All right, who's going to lead it? Because I can't. <laughs> Shane? Corey, you lead it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is there anyone in this room still with us? Yeah. Sit stay with us? Yeah. Us. Oh, that's it. Sit with us. Oh. Save us. It's life. Can you say Shane's name, please? What the was weird that? Man. Do that? The weird man in the something. We are funny. You're funny. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, oh, is that like water? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. Pizza. That's not a pizza. Yeah. I, I think it said that. Yeah. It's not like pizza. pizza? That, is mm -hmm. <laughs> that is what it sounded like. like. Yeah. Pizza? I thought you got a like cat. I heard it see you <laughs> earlier, too. A little bit. Uh, uh, you got a dip? Yes. Okay. Right, See you later. Yeah. Thank you so right. much. Thank you, guys. Of yeah. course. Yeah. That was wild. Well. Of course. You all right, brother? <laughs> yeah. I'm so That's sorry. Okay. Spray he some of this. He delivered the pizza to my house the other night, too, it's didn't you? It's like sage. You? It's cleansing stuff. Thanks, Just put it on your hands. All right. Yeah. Spray you your throat. face. Spray your neck. <laughs> You'll be good, right? I know I smell like pizza right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, he's got your seat. He's okay. gonna get your seat. You have a good one, okay? Yes, thank you. Have a good night. Have a good night. Nice to meet you. Take care, man. Yes. Bro. It said kiss. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. No, it's the second moment I've heard, by the way. Yes, I got a DoorDash driver coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's do it. All right. Drivers. Well, let's, uh, how, about we eat, how about we eat, <laughs> and then we'll reset up for the DoorDash. Okay. okay. <laughs> and then see if he breaks down crying. Yeah, this he did just start fun. crying. He, this you know, is he, so much fun. I've never... That was so, and he's like a happy guy. Yeah, I think that. Unless he yeah, literally he thought you were going to murder him. <laughs> he might yeah, have been really scared. I mean, can you imagine coming into that? Yeah. I would have. That guy's an idiot for coming yeah. in here. Why would you <laughs> ever? No, no, no. Don't. <laughs> That's so dangerous. I, it's very dude, I saw him. Smiling in like the strange. I that's why I called that out. He was like smiling in like the strangest way I've seen, and then he started crying as if he like just did something. Hmm. Like that's what like when I saw that smile, it was like a. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like that evil kind of menacing I smile. If whatever's in here was kind of putting their emotions into him. Maybe. Hmm. Could you know? be. I mean, he was thrown completely off guard and absolutely and vulnerable. <sighs> Okay, so we've been eating pizza for a little while. Mm -hmm. and there's some discussion happening. I'll let you two take it from here. So, you're saying you will go back in the basement if I go, but do you think that it is still down in the basement? What's, I think it is. What's down there? 
Whatever he didn't close. And he called in daemons. Not demons, daemons. Is, is a daemon worse than a demon? It's the same thing, but it's more biblical. Like, mm, okay. it's, he knew what he was doing. Do you think that it could attach to you or me or anyone if we just even step foot down there? I don't know. But it's a possibility. Maybe. If something were to happen to you, who do we call? Cat Lang. Cat Lang, it's on, and it's on the fridge. Mm -hmm. And she's in town in the area. She's five minutes from here. She's on the north end. Should she already be here in case something happens? You want me to call her? I'm just, I'm, I'm asking for I'd your... I'd love it if she was here. I'm just asking for your sake. I know what you said, and I might have to vote that we don't do it. Okay. Yeah. Just because I care goes. about you. Thank you. <laughs> care about, you know, everyone in this house. You could very easily just never go down there again. You don't need to. So why are you even uh, making well, this an option? I'm just there's that part that I want to see, you know? I want to see what, what would happen. Are you going to still go down there? Oh, yeah. Are you serious? Oh, my God. I was God. voting no for everybody. Well, that's not how that works, no. I'll still go down there. Well, then if something happens, then we have to go down and get you guys out. Exactly. You sure do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I might be crawling up the stairs like this. Oh, oh my yeah. god. Yeah. I'll then, make my way back up. Yeah. Yeah, we I'm can do the attic while down. you guys do the basement or something, you know. Or no. we could wait up here while they do the basement. And get them if we need to. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Oh, you're that concerned that you wouldn't even split up to go up to the attic while they do that? No. Wow. Yeah, I'm getting dizzy again, so I'm gonna step outside. We gotta shut it. Whew. Man. All right. The energy of this place, though, dog. I just got another massive migraine and like just vertigo and feeling dizzy and sick. You got going down? Yep. How long are you going to stay down there for? If we get activity, we'll stay down, down there as long as we can. Is there anything you want us to cover up here? You no. Want us, you want us to set up devices and everything? Or no, you want Kristen to just wants you guys to be here in case something goes wrong. Okay. She's standing literally at the staircase waiting. Okay. So just breathe in make fresh sure. air. It goes wrong and Kristen goes down there you don't hear her you mean yeah make sure you hear her yeah yeah we're gonna come right back in okay see you and you you don't know about the basement though do you i don't know about the basement well then i will tell you about the basement once you're down there and then maybe you'll change your mind on whether or not you should have come down here you know i can't see anything so i need some can i turn on my flashlight to get down there we got evans yeah you use my light, light. I just don't want to trip. That's the only thing. All right, Archangel Michael, wrap your wings around us and protect us. It's, this is what the dude opened it up to? Yeah. <laughs> Got your pizza? Somebody order meat lovers? <laughs> Hello? Drawing? Of something. Is that what they think that they're drawing? Yeah, I wonder if someone did it with their eyes closed or... Okay, so let's read this then. This is from October 2020, a little bit after us. Um, lots of orbs and negative feelings. Found a portal where the lounge chair is. Right there. Several of us got a sick feeling there. Felt spirits grab onto us more than one in that room and not good surveillance cam. You kept blacking out. What's wild is we've investigated down there before. You went down there before? Yeah, but it wasn't. It was before she said what happened. Before that guy opened the up. Why would you do that? After an earlier event of an investigator being chased in the basement by multiple footsteps, three of us went back for more. After an eventful spirit box session, we decided to go full dark. The entire basement had multiple shadows and one of us saw the drawing. It is a rough draft, so it wouldn't be forgotten. We all experienced a spatial vortex. We were enveloped in stars. 
If one had experienced it and other had agreed, we would debunk. We all had the same experience. The portal opened for a period of time and we were surrounded by stars. We were all sapped out of energy soon after we needed to get out. It was getting bad. Oh, look at the little scratches. Oh yeah, that's kind of weird. Look, three perfect scratches, like. Dude, I wonder how original the brick is on this floor. Because if this house was part of the Underground Railroad, that's crazy. I'm only interested in what it looks like down there. I want to see the tunnels and stuff, but not worth it. What you missed to summarize is basically someone came down here with a film crew mm -hmm. and they performed a satanic they performed a satanic ritual here that ended up evolving into a blood ritual oh, where okay. they were calling in demons like pre-religious satanic demons gotcha. into here and from there Kristen ended up getting horribly affected losing her sight, her smell, her taste, everything, wow. and then became suicidal wow. until she was fully cleansed. And she's lived in this house, she's owned this house, and it was because of what happened down here that she felt that way. Wow. And that is why she will not come back here, and that happened in May last year. So nearly a year she's never stepped foot in this basement because she feels as though whatever entity is still down here that might still be down here could affect her again. And she doesn't know. Wow. So, okay. Really? Yeah. It looks new to you. Yeah. Yeah. Looking like last week? Yeah. Yeah, look, we were here yesterday. Yeah. Are you here in this court? Right here. Yeah. You said none of this was here a week ago. Like this weekend. We were here all weekend. So, like, today it's new? Yeah. Yes. All right. We're here to find out. If there is anything in the basement, whether good or evil or anything in between, we have friends here that are terrified to come visit this portion of the house. So we just want to know if there's anything still here. If you are still here, can you give us any form of a signal? You have enough power to manipulate people, mentally and physically. Surely you have enough power. Circle. Circle. No. Circle though. Surely you have enough power to give us a clear sign. This is the miracle box from Stephen Huff, and we've been testing it for about a year. And you ask questions, right? And why you ask the question, like, when you ask the question, who is in the basement with Elton? A message. A message. A message. Is there evil in the basement with Elton right now? Elton something. Can you say Elton's name, please? What's that name? Yeah. Elton in the basement, the man in the basement with the dark hair and the beard talking. What are you going to do to him? It said Elton. It said Elton. It just said Elton. I'll make it easier for you. I'll sit right here and wait. Since you don't have enough energy, Sure, you can't follow me around all night. Should we try no lights? Sure. I think we should try no lights. Just turn it through it. I hear like footsteps back there. Oh my god. Whoa. Tell me that was you dropping it, right? Yeah. I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't know why I tripped. Air. Cement. As I dropped it on the cement. I like how that happened right as the camera turned off. Of course. Right as I dropped it on the cement, too, it said cement through. Coat cement through. Do you hear that? 
can you see Elton right now? Yes. Yes. Are you going to take Elton's soul? Such a good name. Such a good name. Come on. All you gotta do is get near this little guy right here. It's all it takes. Then we'll know you're here. And then we can have a conversation. I heard a knock right over there. Maybe you were summoned here and now you're waiting to leave and you can't. We can figure out a way to get you out. I don't even know or believe that you are here. What are you going to do to Elton? Blood servant. Blood, ser blood servant? Blood? <gasps> A blood oh. servant? Is that what it said? I you want to talk to us verbally, now's your chance. I can hear you very easily. Okay. So you're here. On this side. Okay, so you obviously know how to touch the REM pod now. Can you touch that to talk to us again? Why did you wait for us to leave the room? Waiting to sneak up on us. Can you not do this face to face? Why are you so mean? Matt and L. Matt Shut out. the f Is it Matt and L or Matt out? I'm not sure. Matt and maybe Elton, Matt and out. Dog. Whose name's Matt? Me. <laughs> oh yeah, you. Oh, sorry, Matt. What would happen if we put the rent pot in a chair? Find out. Let's find out. Didn't really think about it till now, but maybe it wasn't waiting for us to leave the room, it just had just now entered. Oh my god. Okay. You're confirming that you entered the room. Confirming right now. Mm -hmm. So you're in here with us. Got it. Let's try something. Do you want a new victim? Make it very easy for you. Perfect. Right here. I'll know if you get near me. We'll see it on the device. Ask if it's evil. Are you that. evil or are you good? Are you Miguel? Miguel. Miguel? Miguel. Who's that? Michael. You think we're talking to the... The Archangel? We could be. Oh, so that's good. That's very yeah, that's good. That's good if it's saying my name. <laughs> we know something's down here, but what are you? A better question, how powerful are you? <sighs> okay. Can you leave that area and come toward me? I feel sick. Like, I don't feel good. Yeah, let's get up. Let's get up. I kind of feel more protected now. I do as well. I really? feel like our angels are here to like protect us. Like, I feel protected. Oh. Some people have said that this exact place I'm sitting is a portal. Right here. 
right here is where I'm sitting. Is this where you're entering the home from? center of the home. Exactly. Right on the ley line, right? Yeah, exactly. Is the red pot beeping longer than normal? It is, because it can just be blah. Those are elongated responses. That means something's holding, it's like touching that like for a longer period of time. Yeah, giving a very confident yes. Also, that red pot is pretty hard to make go off. It's not super, super easy. So the fact that it has enough power to do that is it's pretty intense. I'm not gonna lie. Here, by the way, I know that's going on. We know that you're here and you're intelligent. You told us that you think you are powerful. This is where you come to and from to leave this home. But can you confirm, are you in fact a demon or a daemon? I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to answer. Make the device go off if you are, and we will know exactly who we're dealing with. And I will not leave if you say yes. I'm not going to run away. I will stay here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Nothing. No. And this hasn't gone off at all either. Have you left? It's very possible it's just another spirit down here. Wow. I kind of feel like the evil entity, spirit, whatever is here, was trying to scare us. Mm -hmm. And then the angels yeah. came through. Yeah. Like directly there. Look at that. I mean, yeah. You literally would have to go. You literally have to touch it. You actually have to touch it. Wow. Hey, like. See? You literally have to touch it. Wow. Purified. Press purified. Press purified. It just got two new words. Purified? Purified, yeah. That would line up perfectly. Press think purified. about think about Matt and Corey. They're purified. Corey was just cleansed outside. He was just cleansed. Mm -hmm. They're the only purified ones here. I'm not. I'm not either. I didn't use it. Yeah. People running? Whoa. They're running right as we say that they're <laughs> purified. And then once the angels came through. I feel like the evil ones kind of went away. Yeah, that's the bottom game. I don't get that vibe. I think we were being messed with. I want to know what just happened to them. What? You said scared me. What just happened that you guys ran out? Why'd you run out? Because the can be closes before the bat comes in. I'll let I'll let those guys explain it. they they have a more positive view than I do right now. The they have a more positive view than you? Yeah. The archangels came through, Miguel and Raphael. It was clear as we're talking right now. 
but we were talking to something that wasn't pleasant. Were you triggering that REM pod to go off at all? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. I picked it up like once or twice, but. Okay. Yeah, so the last thing happened with you, right? Why'd you why'd you run out? I know she just told me I'm not custom. We, we didn't we didn't run, just one just want some fresh air to hear it. We were um It we sounded like you guys ran out of the house. No, no. No. I, it kind of does. It sounded like a run. It sounded like, like you boom, sprinted boom, boom, boom. out of the front door. That's why we got out of there. Uh, we we've been out here for probably four or five minutes. Yeah, we yeah, we heard you. We were talking to her inside. It's yeah. not us. She so just left. Just calmly walked out. Yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, I mean opposite. we even we took a couple steps, talked at the front door and then took one or two steps outside, we never ran. Said your name very loud and clear. Mm -hmm. Then it said my name very loud and clear. So then I started talking about God, saying that I had no power here and that we believe in God. And uh, and then on its own, it started talking about the archangels. According to the notebook, a lot of people believe that that area that we were standing in is a portal. There's also an altar there Man built made. in. Candles, candles burnt very low. Very much so, it looks yeah. like an altar. Well, it's just a bunch like of candles, two ca like a candle on yeah. some of the so shelves. Cool. Yeah, it was a bunch of candles like on these shelves, and like one is still there, but the others that's have been. What he did. Oh, that's what he did. That's what he did. Wow. So I was exactly yeah. right. Holy, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. That's where we set the REM pod. It was yeah, right that's on there. Exactly what he did. He had an altar there. That wow. is like a hundred percent accurate than what I. I just took a guess on that one. I think we should go in the attic, and or not the attic, but the altar room, and then the attic. Okay. Let's see what happens. Just do it. Yeah. Just do it. Oops. Sorry. I personally do not believe in this candle. But it seems like you're shooting. <laughs> but it seems like you sure do. What fell? Well. You check this floor first and then go to the attic? Sure. That's fine on me. Everything in here looks fine. What else do you have? We have a... Uh, I mean, we have so many. I we think have every tool you can think of. When we came here a couple years ago, I think we had maybe three devices. And now we have like... Probably like close to 30. Do maybe. you have any twist Mac flashlights? Yeah. Oh, yes, Let's we get do. some of those. Yes, we do. Oh, this looks normal. More candles down there, though. in this house, but I can't stand them. Maybe a music box? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Hours straight. Oh, that's it turning yeah. on. I really feel that's done with the music box. I really feel like almost everyone that comes here clean. clean wants to pin this place as something negative, but yeah, I don't know. I don't get that feeling. I don't either. I feel like if you bring the negative energy here, you're gonna that is what that. you will get. Exactly. But if you come here with a more joyful, fun, positive attitude, that's what you'll get. Exactly. Being clean. Makes Manifest sense. what you believe, right? Bad backs, take that bed. <laughs> What's that? Bad backs, take that bed. Oh, I do a bad back. <laughs> yeah, I slept in this room. Oh, you slept in this room? Mm -hmm. Did you actually sleep? 
Yeah. Anything creepy? Mm, I, I it was like four and I fell asleep for two hours. Oh jeez. Sacra res? What does that mean? Well, that's the gibberish type of stuff. What does this mean? Elton. What does this mean? Right? Latin. Is that a Latin word? Nothing fell. We've got three really cool tools around the room. One of them plays music, one is a flashlight or a lantern, and one is a box. If you touch any of them, you can make them light up. And you can talk to us. Is there anyone here who would like to do that? Interesting. Nothing fell. Nothing fell? Yeah. So it must just, have, it just turned on. As you can. Sacra res the leaves not. He has the seance campus. Do you know what sacra res means? Because no. that came up on here. Are we speaking with one of the archangels? Flashlight. Does that mean yes or no though? I don't know what. Can you turn that flashlight on if we're speaking to one of the archangels? Are we speaking to someone demonic? Dark or evil? It's like a music box. Turn on. Okay. Do you mean to cause harm? If you do, can you turn off that flashlight? Can you turn the flashlight on, Raphael? If you are here with us, please. Light it up if you're here, or Miguel. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Could you shut it off one more time so I can ask you another question, please? Just shut it down. Feeling. Feeling. Knife. Knife? Feeling knife? <sighs> and shut it, oh. Oh, wow. Interesting. I wonder if there's more, if there's like multiple. Almost like they are in a battle. Yeah. Isn't that what you said last time? That's not normal. Yes. That you, there was going to be a spiritual bloodbath. Mm -hmm. If you are in some sort of a fight, prove which side is winning. The good would be the brightest it can go, and the dark would be darkness. Within the next five seconds, Push through one way or the other. Five, four, three, no, two, no, one, no. It's not definitive. Oh, it's gone very well near to dark. You do know that good defeats evil, right? You can't defeat the archangels. Miguel, are you tired? Sacrifice. Sacrifice? Knife was the last word? And feeling before that. Feeling, knife, sacrifice. Are you asking for a blood sacrifice? Easy. Is that easy? Yeah. It still hasn't gone fully on or off, mm -hmm. has it? No. Still fighting. There's your answer. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Oh, Music that? box. Music box going off. Evan's not moving. And you the heard thud. the thud. I heard the thud. Oh my god, there was a thud. Well, was that upstairs? Yes. It was upstairs. We were just up there. We know there's nothing up there. There's no windows open. There's no trap doors open. 
Everything up there is sealed off. We were just there. It's back on. Did someone just come in this room? Or did somebody just walk by the door? So the attic came? Mm -hmm. If you were upstairs in the attic, that big red ball, I need you to move it. Prove to us I can see you. And what was that? I don't know what that was. Show camera in the room. Oh my god, what was that? Mm, that was... What was that? That was not it. That Where? wasn't a bug or dust. What are you looking at? Oh my god, something just shot Security towards the camera. The there it was. Did I just saw it? it, I just saw it. Can you, you rewind it like 20 seconds? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what was oh it you're on? watching footage back. 54? Two. Uh, 50, wait, I think is what you saw. Right? So the thing here, you, you think? Exactly. Uh, a little bit after that. So captured noise. So you saw that? Whoa. There's no watch windows up here. open. Now watch the top left corner, or top middle corner. Is he gonna do it again? Something different, right there. That was a face. That was like a face. Wait, we were just up there. Everything is sealed off. Right, and there's no dust because the dust heat is doesn't on. shoot. No, like yeah, that. it doesn't. And how did you know that was there? I wanted him to move the ball. Oh, there you go. so she pulled it up, and that immediately happened. Oh wow! I thought like your phone told you that it caught something. It does alert, but um, I didn't get the alert. I just wanted to see. Now that we can show it in real time. Like, this is what's going on right now. That's live? Mm hmm. I want to go up there again. Go ahead. You guys can watch me. Mm -hmm. I'll, to me, I'll stay here. Coming up. Okay. Don't be afraid of me if you are. I'm just curious. I'll leave it, I'll leave it near you, I'll make it easier. It again. Right, again. It keeps doing the same path. That's what's weird. Residual? There's another one. Again, right there. I don't think anything in this house is residual. Did you blow up that candle? It would be one of the most remarkable things I've ever seen. Never seen that done before. Do that again. Travel across the room. I saw again. something. Another one. Did you move this ball? Please. I'm asking you, with all the sincerity in my heart and soul, to show yourself. Did he go? He's it looks like it looks. Did he just leave? He's coming back. Anything? Mm mm. Just a bunch of orbs. While I was up there? Yeah. How long do you want to leave that candle up there before you go get it? Not that long. Another one. Another one. Whoa. What is that? It's not dust. Dust doesn't fly like that. No. Not <gasps> Another one. Not at that speed, no. I mean, I was up there. There's no bugs. There's nothing flying around. Nothing that touched me. Another one. Oh, I just watched one turn. Another, Another one. one. I saw something in the bottom right. All at the end of the stairs. And then yep. there's a box. Maybe yep. on the couch or something. And I'd yeah. leave it up there. I'd, I'd leave after that and see what happens. Yeah, cool. Done deal. Can you see this on the camera? Yes. Yeah.
Starve. Right star. Does it say star? Star. Starve. I haven't said anything in forever. No. Tried. Tried. Somebody try to starve someone in the attic? Oh, music box up there, upstairs. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. Music box. <gasps> Holy cow, it's working. It's screen recording, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Guys, it's working. Yeah. Yeah, it's screen recording. It's pretty nuts. We've had that go off for like that in the hallway of minutes and other locations too. Horse I should have left the voice recorder up there, but we hear it anyway. Can you push the ball down the stairs? <gasps> what was that? What was that? Double. Huge. In the Wait, third one. What was that? And there's one just. Dude, I just saw like five of them. <laughs> I have a feeling that candle's gonna go out. I do too. I hope it doesn't get knocked over. You know, it's funny. It does a run up there. That right as the music box went off again. If, we, if that candle gets knocked over, we will run up there and also have the best evidence mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think we got some pretty good evidence right now. But yeah. Do you also have a camera in the basement? Mm -mm, not yet. Mm -hmm. Working on it. <laughs> You're by the music box, just push the ball. If you push the ball, it will bring up more tools for you to play with. Hobble. Interest. Hobble interest. Do you want someone to go up there and play catch with you? Okay, I'll go take down the candle. Unless we want to go up there. I think we should investigate up there. Okay. Then let's go get a couple different tools and... That's where we heard the growl last time with Corbin. Alrighty. Ah, that's where I put that. The planchette to my Ouija board. I don't know how to do this, so you're going to teach me. Ain't nothing to know. Put your hands on and close your eyes. And that is all she wrote. Or all somebody wrote. Hey, if there's anyone up here, and you'd like to do some arts and crafts with us, or if you'd like to use us to illustrate something that you'd like us to know, you have my permission to use my body and my hand to help draw and create something. Here. Oh. If there's anyone here that wants to draw through me, I also give you permission to use my body and hand to draw. The yeah, obelisk hasn't said anything, huh? Not one word. As soon as we come up here, all the activity stops. Literally. We turned that music box on and off five times, and it still would just continuously go every time we turn back on. Mm -hmm. But as soon as everyone came up here, it stopped.
Hey, Karen. Anything? I I don't even I don't know. We can look. look. Yeah, let's look. I don't have a light. I do. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it's anything. I don't think it's anything either. Huh. Well, it's not the ghost of Da Vinci. No, not for sure. So. Could be Picasso. It's abstract, you're right. Yeah. I, I thought it kind of looked like an angry orca. That's its fin. Yeah, I, was like, I actually see like a footprint. Like a bird's footprint. It's like three claws. I could see it. It looks like a dinosaur footprint almost. Yeah, like coming from your angle. Yeah. Oh, I see. Like here. here. Yeah. Here. Dinosaur was said to be birds. Oh, hmm. take that light off. It's like hard to see. No, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, nothing. We're all up here. Even look, you moved in front of the music box, didn't go off. I know. Nothing. I know. It's very weird. Walking around, cat balls, nothing. Scale, nothing. K2, nothing. I think the music box is low on battery now. We didn't have anything really in the basement unless we called it out. Nothing up here. So maybe it's back to where the obelisk is going off. Downstairs. We haven't tried the. <laughs> I gotta sign it too. There you go. Good old. So, um, I think we just gotta give it a good old joke session. That's not a bad idea. See if it happens again. Yeah. If anyone saw our last video here, then this might look very, very familiar. Because this is on purpose. Yeah. Because this is this was like one of the cooler things we ever did was just right here. We took away all the, the negativity. We were just chilling, having fun, hanging out. Yeah. Just telling jokes. Yeah, maybe we've been trying to focus on the more evil spirits tonight and we haven't really acknowledged the more positive ones are here. And that is exactly yeah. what happened last time we were here. We were yeah. all focused on the negative negative and then we're like, Hey, you know? Yeah. Just hang out, tell some jokes. Yeah. So if there's any spirits in here that want to hear some jokes, just uh, touch that device that we have set in the doorway and it'll make a noise if you think they're funny. And if you don't think they're funny, then Darn. touch it anyway. <laughs> and, uh, boost our confidence, please. please. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Joan, I heard you had a really good joke about... Uh, your mom masturbating? Set the tone. Uh, so it was... <laughs> <laughs> Is that what the joke was? So like? it was actually a uh, common misconception. It was actually a joke about masturbating that my mom told me. Oh! Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, that's, that's easily that's, confused. That's a pretty important detail. Okay, there. yeah, I thought it was a joke like Fair enough, um, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, so basically, um, there was this intern who was applying to be the hospital, basically. So this, this senior doctor was taking him around the hospital. And they happened to walk past this doorway, and the, the intern looked in and was like, oh my god, there's a guy masturbating in there, what the hell is that? Mm -hmm. And the doctor looked at them, he's like, it's actually a really serious condition. He has um, poisonous semen, and uh, he has to masturbate every day. It's, it's, there's nothing he can do, because if he doesn't, the semen will kill him. What? So the guy was like, oh my god, that's, that's terrible. So they keep going on the tour, and uh, they walk past another door, and this guy... He, he looks in and he sees this guy getting a blowjob from a nurse and they keep walking and he was like, doctor, what, what the hell is up with that guy? And the senior physician looks at him and he's like, well, he actually does have the same condition. He just has better health insurance. <laughs> that's wow. That's good. That's, that's good. But wow. wouldn't the semen kill the nurse? You know, I think that's... Plot hole. <laughs> <laughs> Plot hole. So you're thinking something about being in the sack? Is like a so poisonous. your mom told you that joke? She did. Mm -hmm. And you want to throw a joke? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I said all my jokes when we were here. <laughs> Maybe we'll remember one or two. What cable provider only has porn? What? Comcast. What website? What website only has porn? Pornhub. <laughs> Why does Aaron remind me of a really unfunny Bo Burner right now? Oh, God. Is that no joke? Sure, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. 
what has four letters, but sometimes has nine letters, and never has five letters? Has four letters, sometimes nine, never five. Mm -hmm. A mailbox. <laughs> not Explain that one. Because mailboxes hold letters. Yeah. But not five of okay. them. Has four. It, what? That's, it's a creative... Yeah. Thought. I feel like yeah, your mailboxes okay. could hold five letters. Yeah, but, but it's uncommon really, to get five. It's very it's uncommon. way more if, common to get nine. Yeah, if you're, it's either four or nine. Statistically, have you ever gotten junk mail? Do you have you ever gotten one piece of junk mail? No, no, it's an entire fourth worth of junk mail. <laughs> I just said. It. What has four letters? <laughs> I just said Sometimes it. has nine letters. Oh, I get it. it never has five letters. Yeah. Oh, I You're saying get because it. Yeah. those words have that many letters. Yeah. 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 What what has, what has four, four letters? letters? Sometimes, Sometimes has nine letters. letters. Oh, and <laughs> never <laughs> has five letters. Oh, that's yeah. actually, I like, okay. like that. A that's mailbox. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's good. Wait, yeah. you feel yeah. stupid. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good one, Evan. Yeah. You don't have sex yeah, in the laundry. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, there All go. right, what's six foot one, but also seven inches? <laughs> <laughs> what? My girlfriend's ex. <laughs> your impression of Tracy Morgan at the golf range. Okay. All right. <clears throat> all right. All right, spirit. There's no way this isn't offensive, by the way. It's <laughs> oh, it will be when it's British. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why would it be British? <laughs> <laughs> all right, ready? So yeah. Tracy Morgan at the golf range. Golfing. Yeah. Okay. I'm golfing <laughs> at the golf range and my name is Tracy Morgan. Okay, wait, 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 now do, do a British do Tracy, Tracy Morgan at the golf range. <laughs> I'm British <laughs> Tracy Morgan. Wait, wait, do Obama? Obama? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And you can't make it sound like the same black guy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Obama. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Willis, what are you going to have? Is that what you're going to have there? That just, it just what you talking about. That's just what came to me. Sure. Mm. He, I'm sure he has Tonight. said that at some point in his life. Oh, stop it. I'm sure he has said that at some point in his life. Yeah. A uh, six foot one, seven inch penis. Ooh, ooh. Can you imagine it just. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Do you also notice what I set up in front of the in front of the camera? I can't What's see that? that actually. That's fate. Holy. <laughs> I don't even see that dog. I can't mm -hmm. see it. What is it? I've been there the whole time. What should is they it? use it? We used it. We all did it last time. They should use it. Why is it? You can't it? see it. It's, it's a... Either. You're looking right at it. It's a black mirror. I literally can't see anything. It's literally right there. I can't see anything. All I see is the camera light. No, look beneath the camera light. That looks like the Netflix, 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 Netflix show under the table. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> black mirror. <laughs> Just I had a kid in my school whose name was Jacob like... Strine. Are you supposed to hold it or you have to go? Nice so. shout out. You can just you can just go. You just want to be just oh, at a point <laughs> where you can probably kind of barely see your reflection. You don't want to like fully see it. Oh, I see Aaron's mm. hair. And then you just, just want to stare Aaron. at it for at least two minutes and do not blink. Oh, that's so hard. Yeah, just don't blink. Just stare at yourself and really concentrate. Feel that? And don't blink. Just don't think about like your eyes slowly getting dry and like yeah. being like really aware of like the air like kind of coming towards your eyeballs, like forcing you to blink. And, yeah, like, don't do that. Just, just don't think of like a parched desert and like try it and like see, that. see what you see. And then don't tell anyone what you see until the others have done it. Should we tell jokes in the meantime? Yeah. Why did you only find the one, one joke funny? That's wasn't it, even, it was. It was pretty funny. It wasn't even funny. It was it real. Was solid. It's just wasn't truthful. Even, it wasn't even a joke. Just being honest. Is that what you want? <clears throat> you want us to all go around the room and share our deepest, darkest secret? This guy walks into a bar. Mm -hmm. And uh, he looks off to the shut. He looks off to the right side and he walks in the bar. He sees this ten-inch guy like playing the piano. He goes up to the bartender and he's like. What the hell is the story with that uh, tiny piano player over there? And the guy's like, I got a secret, I'll show you in the back. So he takes him around the back of the bar. Yeah. And he opens his bottle and a genie comes out. Whoa. And he's like, this genie will grant you any wish you ask. Okay. So the guy's like, hell yeah, mm -hmm. all right. So yes. I, know, I understand. So he, he goes yes. to the guy and he's mm -hmm. like, give me 
a million yeah. bucks right now. And a million ducks fly out of the sky. And he's like, yeah. hell, I didn't ask for a million ducks. I asked for a million bucks. And the bartender's like, yeah, dude, you think I asked for a 10-inch pianist? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that one. That's a really good one. What's going on, Aaron? Ah, oh, my well, goodness. Well, my don't tell us what you thought. I held my eyes open for too long, dude. Goodness gracious. Did you see anything? Give it a shot. Uh, Do it, Jonah. Have you done it before, Jonah? I have not okay. ever looked into a black mirror before. Oh, I hate this already. <laughs> I actually don't really want to do that. What? It like already looks creepy. Yeah. I know. <clears throat> yeah, dog. You think they were gonna have you look into a not creepy? Oh, mirror? I like don't even like it at all. Yeah. yeah. Dude, well, that means you're not gonna like the results. Oh, oh I can see your face too, Jonah. Oh, I hate Damn it. you fine. I hate it. Do it. Super hot dude, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah the hot. Let's call him uh, Matt. And he always in a and he works as a parking enforcement. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Walks up, walks up to his car, Ill illegally parked in front of a fire hydrant. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and he's like, oh, I'm, I'm definitely giving this guy a ticket, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So he yeah, goes ahead, sure. writes out a ticket gotcha. for a hundred and twenty dollars. Yeah. So he lives in LA. Okay. Yeah, lives in LA. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Put puts it puts it on the windshield. Next yeah. thing you know, the owner of the car comes walking out. Gotcha, gotcha. And he goes and he looks at the guy, and he sees that he put a ticket on his car, and he goes, "Damn, you fine." Damn, um, you fine? Damn. Okay. Yeah. I knew that was. That's yeah, that was fine. Okay. That's okay. Okay. I understand that. I, I got that. Man, that rim pot is not going off. Mm -hmm. Take ballet dance to talk about What? You good, John? Mm-hmm. You How see was anything? That? Mm hmm. Damn, that's really trippy. Come on, Red. <clears throat> nah, I don't like smiling. <clears throat> so hard to keep your eyes open. You just count to 120? I mean, just, yeah. you know, internal, internal clock. <sighs> okay. Jonah seems a little, a little warped right now, hmm? I don't hmm. like this. Just mm -hmm. keep staring, concentrating. So, one time. Yeah. I see this guy's balls getting tickled. Um, and I was like, man, is that how Matt feels? Mm. Is that how Matt feels? If you don't think that we're funny and you want us to get out. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm done. <laughs> that was brilliant. I, I was like, am I seeing this? <laughs>
That's the comment. Leave it right here on YouTube. Pick five random people. If you want bonus entries, comment it on our Instagrams, including Evan. <laughs> That's going to backfire, Evan. It is. Okay. Oh, well. See you guys in the next video. Bye.